Hey guys, look fuck here and welcome to the FIFA 19 player review and today I'm going to be reviewing the 84 rated Australian League SBC Kazuki Honda. He has got a very interesting looking card and he did cost me roughly 50,000 coins to complete his SBC and in the five games that I played him with he scored me one goal and got me one assist and he does have a three star weak foot as well as four star skill moves. Moving along into his in-game stats, his main standout stats are his 85 vision, his 89 jumping, his 85 long shots and his 88 ball control. I did have the Hawk chem style applied to Honda. Uh, uh, for the five games that I did use him uh, in and those games were played in foot rivals I decided not to do foot champions this weekend because over the past couple of days the EA servers have not been running smoothly whatsoever and EA put out a tweet said that they were going to be delaying the uh, weekend league and that I think it would run through to Tuesday morning or late Monday afternoon or something like that I don't want to do that of all the crazy change in schedule so I've decided not to register for this week but I've already registered for the following week weekend so uh, I will resume normal service in weekend league from next weekend it's just this week it was a bit too hectic with the schedule and what was going on and stuff like that but we're still going to play uh, some foot rails and still do a couple more reviews for you guys over this weekend so anyway focusing on Kazuke Honda um, a relatively cheap SBC league to do there's only like 10 or 12 teams in the Australian A League um, this is clearly the better card of the two just to go for in my opinion and, and you know a lot of people can probably relate to this card more than the other one just because you know he used to play for Milan and stuff like that and uh, he's been very good in some World Cups obviously the 2010 World Cup when he really kind of burst on the scene with Japan and stuff like that but um, focusing on him in FIFA he's got a few good points and then he's got a few bad points and I expected this from Kazuki Honda I didn't expect him to be a world class player um, I, I always knew and I think everyone should know that you are going to probably have issues with this card but there were some good points to him I'm going to get into his first point that's going to be his dribbling his dribbling stats overall are very very good his 88 ball control is very nice his 86 in game dribbling 83 composures good 80 balance is fine for a right mid and obviously his 70 agility as well if you want to, you can put a chem stance to increase those stats a little bit more. But personally, I don't think they're that bad for a right winger. So, um, you know, I'd probably look at other areas such as pace, his shooting, his passing, or his physical, maybe to improve that a little bit more. His dribbling, I wouldn't say doesn't need any chem style onto. I think that is already fine. His second pro is going to be his passing. Now, he only got me one assist in five games. He, sh well, honestly, he was so unlucky. <sighs> I say this a lot of times in player reviews, but honestly, I'm telling the truth, man. He should have got me like five assists in five games. And it was not through my fault. It was just through the goalkeepers making world-class saves or my other players that Honda was providing chances to, hitting the post, hitting the bar. Just so unlucky, man. And you'll see it in a few of the clips, like some of the good chances he provides. And my players just were so unlucky uh, in being able to not quite finish it off. But uh, I couldn't fault his passing there for the most part. 85 vision, 84 short passing, 93 kick accuracy, 78 crossing. He's also got the 84 long pass in the 84 short passing and the 92 curve you know he suits playing as a cam um and that's the i really wanted this card to come out as a cam because he would have been really really fun then just like his foot birthday card last year because that means then his pace wouldn't have been an issue as well and his passing would have been probably even better in a cam position because you're able to use it a little bit more than what you would do at a uh, right winger position but overall still couldn't fault his passing i still thought for the most part it was very very good then getting into his two issues with the card the first one is going to be his pace he, he struggles down that right-hand side man of his pace. Um, now, you know, 82 pace, a lot of people would say that's not the worst pace for a right winger in the world, and you would be correct to say, but when you're paying 50,000 coins, you want the pace of that winger to be, you know, you'd expect it to be very high. For example, like a Gelson Martins one to watch card, he's got fantastic pace, and you had to pay about 50,000 coins for his SPC. You would want something, you know, you know when you're paying 50,000 coins for a right winger, you want them to have good pace because that's one of the most crucial stats. Honda doesn't have that, unfortunately. You could put a Hunter chem style to increase his pace in some of those areas, but for the, I honestly don't think it would make much of a difference, guys. I had the Hawk Ken, which increases his pace slightly, and I still thought it was very bad. But uh, his next con is going to be his um, his first touch. Wasn't a fan of that whatsoever. More often than not, his first touch would be dreadful, and he'd either lose possession, or it would delay him in being able to then whip a ball into the into the box, or to make the next pass to my next player, or whatever. But uh, would I recommend doing this SBC? I mean, if you're a fan of the Australian A-League, or Melbourne Victory, or you're Japanese, or you just like Kazuke Honda, like my Myself, then yes go for it that was the reason why I did it because I'm such a big fan of Kazuke Honda he's one of my favorite players um you know watching him in the World Cup and, and stuff like that um I just really like the guy to be quite honest so yeah I can kind of understand some of you guys wanted this SPC but he's not really going to be able to fit into a first team if I'm totally honest he just doesn't have that overall quality I'm personally just going to keep him as a substitute but uh, anyway guys thank you for watching this part of you and I'll see you guys later